In the entrance exam, we get a case history suggestive of transposition of great vessels. Now, this topic belongs to multiple department and it is interdisciplinary question. The examiners may belong to the department of anatomy or physiology, pathology, pharmacology, pediatrics, radiology. Such questions have become very frequent in the recent years. Now, what exactly goes wrong with a baby having this uh, transposition of great vessels? The anatomy department may be asking embryological basis. So, we need to understand that it is the neural crest cells which are supposed to migrate towards the developing heart and form the aorta pulmonary septum which is also called conotruncal septum and if there is a problem in the migration there can be some congenital cyanotic heart diseases one of them is transposition of great vessels normally this ap septum is a spiral septum and the great vessels that is the aorta and pulmonary trunk they are also spiraling each other the aorta ascending aorta which comes from the left ventricle is passing posterior whereas the pulmonary trunk which come from the right ventricle is passing anterior and the septum between them which is aorta pulmonary septum is spiral that is why these vessels are also spiral but in transposition of great vessels ap septum is not spiral and these great vessels they are opening opposite they are transposed if we are talking about the pulmonary trunk it is coming from the left ventricle and sending the blood into the lungs whereas if we are talking about the aorta it is beginning from the right ventricle carrying the blood towards the systemic circulation so you can understand normally the pulmonary circulation and the systemic circulation they run in a series but here you will get two parallel circulations now imagine the deoxygenated blood of the body which is brought by superior vena cava and inferior vena cava to the right chambers of the heart is being pushed into the body back from the right chambers of the heart through the aorta so there is a recirculation of blood without oxygenation whereas on the other hand the left chambers of the heart will be pushing the blood through pulmonary trunk into the lungs and it recirculates in the pulmonary circulation the left chamber becomes hypoplastic because it has to push blood only till the lungs whereas the right ventricle undergoes hypertrophy because now it is pushing the blood into the aorta and throughout the body it is understood so these babies are not going to survive until we have got some mixed circulation and which could be patent foramen ovale or ventricular septal defect there will be a patent ductus arteriosus so that at least there is some mixing of blood and some blood does go into lung for oxygenation it's a neonatal emergency the baby is born is a blue baby having tachypnea you check the oxygen it is hypoxemia you do the chest x-ray there's a typical finding you say egg on the stomach String. do the echocardiography it will detect the transposition of great vessels sometime cardiac catheterization may be required and you can see exclusively which chamber is hypertrophied and great vessels are transposed so if it is a neonatal emergency what do you do immediately you have to start with intravenous prostaglandin e1 now why is that so that is where your knowledge of anatomy and physiology will come into play you know in fetal circulation when there is a placenta there is release of prostaglandin prostaglandin E1 and E2 which keeps the ductus arteriosus patent but after birth as you remove the placenta the level of prostaglandin will go down moreover there is release of bradykinin after first breath which will cause the vasospasm acting on the smooth muscles of ductus arteriosus physiological closure of the ductus arteriosus occurs immediately after birth your physiology faculty will be teaching you now coming back to our case of transposition gate vessel why did you start the prostaglandin prostaglandin E1 infusion immediately because that is the one which will keep the ductus arteriosus patent and there will be some mixing of blood. TGV is a right to left shunt. Blood is going from right side of the heart into the systemic circulation without passing through the pulmonary circulation without oxygenation resulting in cyanosis. So there must be some communication and what if even maintaining the patency of ductus arteriosus is not helping you then you have to go for atrial septostomy me maintaining one atrial septal defect but the definitive treatment is of course you have to do the switching of the arteries you have to make them open into the appropriate chambers there's a transposition you bring it back towards the normal anatomy and physiology so this is the interdisciplinary approach you start with embryology histology then you go on to physiology talk about
about pathology and pharmacology when it comes to prostaglandin E1 infusion. Pediatrics, you are talking about a newborn baby. It's a neonatal emergency. Anatomy people are not handling this situation. It is the pediatric people who will be looking at the clinical features and then asking the radiology people to take a chest x-ray or echocardiography or cardiac catheterization. And then the case will be transferred to the surgery department for the arterial switching. So my point is, one good approach towards your PG entrance is take one particular topic, say cardiovascular system and begin with the anatomy. Anatomy faculty is teaching you the anatomical details of the most frequently asked questions, the case studies, then physiology sir will teach you the related details. Then it goes to pathology, pharmacology, the pediatrics, the radiology and the surgery. And PrepLadder has developed what is called as module based learning. And I find myself quite satisfied with the arrangement of topics they have done. It is in a sequential manner with appropriate flow and very high yielding concept. You even keep on practicing multiple questions throughout the session. So I highly recommend this module based learning and our wishes are always with you. Score well, get a good merit rank and take a PG seat in your subject of choice in a college of your own choice. Take care.